Good afternoon guys, welcome back to brand new video. I haven't recorded a video about my cars in a while, but as you guys can see in the background, the 32 GTR is here. Uh, the reason why I haven't been posting videos on this car channel is just because, one, not, I haven't had a lot to do on it. I've been actually low-key collecting parts for it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to go ham on this thumbs up button. It's gonna be a multiple sessions of videos just because I got so much to do and now I finally have some time to actually do it, which is super cool. So shout out to some of the guys. Shout out to Snow Foam. Shout out to uh, MCA for the call over. Shout out to uh, Yellow Jackets for the call packs. Shout out to Checker Tuni for sending me some uh, spark plugs and stuff like that. So in to wrap this all up real quickly this car is misfiring i don't know why and i took out a spark plug that spark plug looked fucked that's probably the easiest way to say it. but let's go over here and i'll show you guys what i collected in the last couple weeks or so this is my little corner of like all car parts as you guys can see here there's a whole bunch of stuff up there but anyway so shout out to guys from snow foam sending me out some new car cleaning products uh yellow jacket right here so these are the new caller packs that I will be running on the 32 GDR. I know everyone's going to say 135 GDR caller packs, but I have a news tune, so that's not going to work. So, and then I have some Iridium spark plugs right here, as you guys can see. These are really hard to get, these BCPR7EIXs. So I have actually six of them here. There's two in this box. And then... I have a package from Spares Box, which is... I'm gonna open it up so I can because my address is on that side. Okay, so in this box here, I have... 1060 Casual Edge Sports Supercar. Uh, the reason why I use 1060 is because the motor is built, and same as my 180, and I bought two oil filters for um, the GDR as well because they were on sale but last but not least is this MCA box so the GDR does have coilovers in it but as you guys know MCA always hooks it up so I definitely had to get a set of MCA coilovers for the GDR because I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm 98 percent sure that the bottom uh, the rear coilovers on the GDR are bottoming out just because it's not this is as low as it goes and that's probably as low as I want it to go to be honest like this height is perfect but it's making some weird knocking sounds just because it's bottoming out just on this rear side as well so um, I'm pretty annoyed about that and I don't know if you guys noticed uh, I haven't told you guys I put two six fives on this on these tie on these rims now so it doesn't have that stretch look so it has a more of a gtr look what's another thing that you guys haven't seen that i installed um oh yeah the gurney lip i decided to end up putting up on a carbon fiber gurney lip and i've also put a cocaine hang tag hang ring thing just in the back that's pretty much it there's nothing crazy that's gone happening with the gdr but Let's start working. First thing I'm gonna do is take off this, rip all the spark plugs out, rip all the coil packs out. That's the probably easiest way. And then at the same time, I'm gonna drain the oil because the oil is disgusting. Because it's this is the second oil that it has since running. Oh, this is a really dumb idea. I can tell this is gonna be dumb. That's not good. That blackness is not good. Can I put it back in the hole with one hand? Yeah. And then, oil filter down there. Um, I've actually, have I serviced this car before? Yes, I have actually. This is the second time I've serviced it. So I've got to get rid of these coilovers as well. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that the rear end's bottoming out because it's too low and these coilovers are not made to go that low. So let's go. I'm doing this very systematically so it just makes my life easier. I've taken all the coil packs out. As you guys can see, coil pack covers out. Just need to take the spark plugs out. But at the same time, I do have the car jacked up. Not jacked up, but just on the ramps at the moment. I'm going to jack the car up. And then I'm going to empty the oil, oil filter. I might even take off the wheels and change the coil levers at the same time. Just to do the whole front end in one go. Which is probably the smart thing to do. 
there's actually nothing wrong with my coil packs as you guys can see here like they look decently good like this i just want to be sure that everything gets changed so i i know i can eliminate this whole misfiring uh situation i do have uh spare airflow meters that i might change out as well if that doesn't work just a whole bunch of things just to be sure so like I, i'm going from cheapest thing to fix like cheapest things to replace and then it could be fuel pump fuel injectors could be ugh, it really could even just be the oil filter ah uh, sorry the uh petrol filter because i didn't actually change that petrol filter so actually i might even ask philly to uh go get me a petrol filter um oil filter fuel filter fuel filter why am i calling it petrol filter change the fuel filter which is just down there supposedly that's a bitch to get to but one thing at a time one thing at a time so i jack the car up undo the oil pan so whilst the oil is running out of the car i'll change that first things done is car's jacked up sitting on stands i i still have the jack underneath it i don't know i just want to keep safety to the maximum and then you guys can see that my oil pans underneath there taking the oil but it's so freaking black like it's ridiculous just look at that that is ridiculous but whilst that's happening i open the oil cap so everything can be drained um then i'm gonna go through take out all the spark plugs Whew. it's gonna be a fun 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 day okay so i took the spark plugs out i'm trying to figure out is it actually misfiring but if you guys look carefully on this spark plug right here it is burnt to the bottom right here right there you guys can see that and it's not an oil residue because it's actually hard i can't just uh, wipe it off so this is the spark plug that's giving me problems but all of them sort of like look like they're failing out which might mean that my car's running too rich or there's something wrong with the coil packs or uh, I can't even tell. So what I'm gonna do is just take them all out, put the, all the brand new ones in, and then, I hate to say it, hope for the freaking best. Cause like, that's all we can do right now. Like, I, I can't even stress how much I'm stressing balls about this, to be honest. Just got the uh, brand new coal packs out, as you guys can see right here, the yellow jackets. Uh, to be honest, I would love to go like Spitfires or, or like R35, but like I said that these don't need a uh, igniter. And I want to use the stock igniter with the R35 GDR coil packs. You need to run uh, a different ECU and I just want to run it as is. And anything is better than 30, 40 year old freaking uh, coil packs. So these will just go straight in. Very simple, I hope. Is it simple? Is it? Am I lying to you guys? Because I can't even put the first one in. Go in. Just like that. Put them all in, bolt them all down, plug them all in, and that's it. I'm just gonna keep trialing an error. That's all I gotta do. Um, I can't start it and try it, but I'll put it all in. Coil packs are in, all the loom is connected as well. What I noticed is I think the loom is becoming a bit brittle on the third one um, down here. You can't really tell, but yeah, the third one here is having a problem, or the fourth one, I'm not too sure. But I'll, I'll have to double check it. I might buy a new loom just in case. But, yeah, these looms are so brittle as well. This is a common problem as well. So I might just buy one just in case, replace it. It's something simple. Um, this is actually the second loom that I've gone through. Stupid me. I was cheap about it, and then I cheaped out, and I bought another second-hand loom. When in all technicality, I should have just bought a fur, like a brand new one and just get it over and done with. But I, I was going to say you live and you learn, but I should already know this lesson, to be honest knowing of how many freaking stupid things I've done. Ugh. But, all good, all good. Let's keep moving. RB26's freaking oil filters are a bitch to get to. They are so annoying. Like, my hands are shaking because it's such an awkward spot. I even have the right tools and everything for it. And it's just still very, very hard to do. My dog is being very needy right now. Watch this. Yes, Biggie, what would you like? Do you need something? See, look at him. Do you need something, buddy? Yeah, nothing, nothing. Come on, let's go. Shout out to Philly for uh, going and getting my uh, fuel filter. This is super easy because now everyone does click and collect and uh, Philly doesn't need to go inside and really figure out what I need, but that is just down there. It looks like it's been replaced before, which is good. So I'll replace this and it should be okay, but 
Everyone says this is a pain in a butt to do the bottom, uh, the bottom thing. You guys can tell my hands are shaking from literally trying to take the oil filter on and off, but oh, it's so annoying. Oh, let's have a break. And we're back. And of course, a five second fuel filter job becomes a five hour, jo hour job. So, have to buy new fuel lines, new clamps, and everything just because this fuel filter is not coming out. Like, straight up, it's not coming out. I literally had to cut it. I made some new lines right here, as you guys can see. This is a new line. And then, it's, that fuel filter is still stuck somewhere down there. Oh, fuck. This is the true struggles of owning a car. I finally took the fuel filter out, cut the shit out of it. But look how black this petrol is. Like, Jesus. It's supposed to be clear, there's no way. Yeah, luckily I changed this. Oh, that's fine, babe. Yeah, Jesus. But uh, now, now what I need to do is just measure up this line, pop a new line on it, and then work backwards, which is, I'm already hella annoyed. Like, fuck, I hate old cars sometimes. Jesus Christ.